Welcome back to part three of my Matilda of Tuscany game. We just crushed a revolt. Uh, so we got some land to revoke. We have titles on most of this, claims on most of these titles, and they revolted against us. So we should be able to revolt, revoke uh, without incurring any tyranny. This guy's became my rival, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and chop his head off. Sorry, little Matilda. There can be only one. I won't kill her, though. Uh, your sister as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take that from you. Uh, these guys are just mayors. Yeah, none of the rest of these have land that we need. So we'll just let them all out. Okay, there we go. So the only member of the Duchy of Spoleto who did not revolt against us is this guy, Count Jacopo. So maybe I'll reward his loyalty, and we'll just hand him this duchy and all the counties in it there. He is actually a pretty good marshal, so maybe I'll put him in that role once our uh, distant cousin dies here, the old. Uh, so our second son ends up getting ambitious. He could kind of be a little bit problematic for us with that trait once he becomes our little brother. Um, I don't know if I want to make him paranoid though. If something happens to our first son, we might end up playing this guy. And I really don't want to play a paranoid character, so I'll just let him keep that. Just so that he's a decent backup. Uh, we gave away one of our duchy titles now, so we can kind of create another one. Uh, so let's make Romagna for now. Ooh, this guy is a master of it by his peers. Okay, we do have a weapon already, but we might get a better one from this, so I think I'll go for it. I keep spending gold when I'm trying to save up for this, but I think we'll be okay. I'm just going to wait until I can reduce the cost of it anyway. Yeah, should be fine. So this is our son's betrothed, isn't it? No, this one is. I have the wrong one pinned here. Uh, we kind of want her to get deposed. Otherwise, I might break this betrothal. We'll see. I think I'll keep going for the piety, actually. Ooh. I don't know if I want to spend 115 on that, though. I already have 79% cultural acceptance with them. This one is 20% less, but I wouldn't have to get any popular opinion. Yeah, whatever. Those Cisalpines. Uh, no, I don't want Flagellant. Sometimes you can get a decent one from this, but I don't want that. Burn this heretic. Okay. My dopey cat. Uh, I think eventually we'll let our second son take this duchy here, and we'll probably end up giving some of these away. Uh, we're still waiting on the death of Mr. Tediche here, the old. That's too expensive, we're not doing that. Uh, because he's allied with the Pope, and we're trying to get this land from him, <laughs> which is going to be really difficult to do, uh, so long as he has that alliance. Um, 71%, there we go, okay. This should be a pretty good weapon then. Uh, yeah, let's take this. So we have almost our entire home duchy now, uh, just missing Orbitello and Luca. I think I will take this away from him eventually. I actually don't have a claim on this one. Maybe I should end up doing that. 
If I'm not working on anything else right now, it'll take me four years. Um, I'm trying to avoid spending gold, and it keeps giving me these events to spend gold. <laughs> this one does give him um, some fertility. We still only have the three kids. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll just go for it. And we end up getting a blue sword here. And our son gets zealous or calm. I think I'll keep him with calm. That's fine. I like that. Uh, pretty good traits. Not too bad overall. Oh, okay, that's kind of the event I was hoping for. You buy him that thing and then he can become your lover randomly. Uh, we are trying to get more children. At least five. To get the full benefit from our sound foundations. Uh, and we kind of need to get get a move on. We're, we're approaching 40. Uh, he's approaching 50. Hopefully it happens. Uh, so we can advance his education or get 60 gold. I do want the gold, but I think I'll focus on his education. It's just more important. Hopefully get him a, at least a 4-star education. Okay. Reduced. He becomes my friend. No. Let's get the 25. Thank you. Uh, we're kind of rooting for the death of this Pope. We did take his title from him, and he's remembering this. Uh, only one more year. Okay. Once that's gone, he should like us enough to give us gold again. No, 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 no. Uh, on the other hand, we're actually pretty rich, so he probably wouldn't want to do that. Um, if I was playing him, I'd want Diligent. Uh, but he he might end up just dying from stress with these two traits uh, as the AI. So maybe I'll just make him patient. It'll give him better opinion of me once I'm his brother. Uh, and make him less likely to press his claims and stuff against me, given that he's ambitious. Uh, okay, so he caught my spy master in his court. I'm going to say, oopsie, and pull him out of there. We don't want to get arrested. Okay, so let's see how much this reduces the cost by how worthwhile it was. 50 gold. Yeah, it should be fine. We'll just save up for our 900 now. Maybe it's time to learn our liege's language. 54%. Uh, eventually I'll go and pay homage to him, I think. Would rather avoid doing that while I can't speak his court language though. Aha! So it's actually him. Okay, he's still willing to give me money. Nice. 359. That gives us enough to make our university. So it's perfect timing. So our marshal has passed away. Uh, we're going to give his job to the Duke of Spoleto. And his land was split up. Yep. Which is probably a good thing because they're in different duchies, so I'll want to separate them eventually. Nice, okay. Everything's going pretty well here. Uh, I'm not going to be expanding too aggressively throughout this game. Uh, I'll probably end up trying to get the Kingdom of Italy and then maybe go down into Sardinia. But I'm mostly just going to hang around in this region here uh, and wait probably to get elected as Emperor whenever that happens. Uh, and then maybe once we become Emperor we'll look to expand the Empire a little bit. We'll see. Uh, we could also go to war with Venice. So it looks like Lombardy broke up. Uh, the Duke of Genoa is less powerful. They do have a bunch of alliances, though. 
Uh, so if we were to press our claims, they have 6k troops, so it's a very, very even fight. Uh, we'll probably wait for a generation to pass by. Ooh, this guy's a 14-year-old leper. Uh, they're allied with each other, though. So we'll just wait to see how that goes. Uh, Liberty War again. You. Why are you doing this? What are you doing? I'll accept, but I'm not going to help. <laughs> I wish she would get deposed. Uh, that way she could just come to my court once she marries my son. Uh, she, did end up get, she did end up getting four traits, plus herbalist. She already got flagellant, though. Uh, just cynical or temperate. These are all pretty good. I would like to make him just, but I think given that I already have some uh, stress issues, I think we're okay with temperate. I don't think he's going to be much of a difficult character to deal with. He is ambitious, but being patient and temperate should make him uh, pretty tame, I think, once he becomes our little brother, assuming that we do end up playing Prince Bernardo. Yeah, these guys are getting up there in years. I'm probably going to break this. I was hoping that she'd get deposed. Uh, only three stars, damn. So let's go ahead and stop you from being a knight. Our Chancellor as well. Yeah, we're not going to fight any wars anytime soon, so we're just going to wait on that. Okay, so we did get Athletic. That's that's a nice one to get. Uh, I think our husband is just maybe getting a little bit too old to even have kids with. So we do have options, uh, but only for like a few more years. Uh, we could seduce someone else and try to get a lover. Um, but that would risk getting our titles revoked if we got caught. Um, other than that, I just give up on having these final children and then play through one of my current sons, which I think is probably just going to be the plan here. I think I'm going to let it go. Uh, yeah. We became lovers with our husband, but... No more kids, apparently. Good thing we got that athletic benefit in poor health here. Uh, we could just end up dying, honestly. It wouldn't be that bad. Our son would get this duchy title and a couple counties within it. So nothing would really get messed up if we just died randomly. So, yeah, she's almost of age, and then the marriage will go off, and then he will go to her court, uh, which I'd rather avoid. So I might just break it once this war ends here. Uh, 19th of March, okay. Yeah. I was trying to avoid doing this, but I am going to break the betrothal. Uh, and then we'll try to find him a wife. Ooh, interesting. Duchess of Provence. That isn't quite as annoying because it's pretty close by our land here. We would kind of be dealing with the same issue where our son would be going to her court. Um, but we'd be inheriting that land on our eventual grandchildren. And I do plan on taking the Duchy of Genoa eventually, so we would be connected. Uh, I don't know if I want to go through it. Okay, let's just, let's just wait and see um, what kind of inheritable traits we can get. We could try to strengthen with a genius, or we could try to grab someone else with, like, beautiful, uh, and then see if we can't get two traits on our grandchildren. 
Uh, she is lowborn. And this girl is Italian and has much nicer traits. Sicilian here. She may be a witch, having these uh, pretty good stats, though. I'm tempted to go for her, just because she, she shares our culture and they're very close in age. Yeah, let's go for her. She is a bastard. Not sure who's responsible for this, but this woman has had six bastard children. <laughs> Are any of them exposed? Ah, this is the Pope's kids! <laughs> okay. So my son is marrying the Pope's granddaughter. <laughs> bastard granddaughter. That's cool. Uh, we can actually give her a job. We have this unique lady-in-waiting since we are a queen instead of a king. So we'll give her a job and hopefully she'll uh, she'll stick around. Uh, I'm not sure if we can invite any of these others. Doesn't look like it. It's pretty interesting though. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on them. Hopefully they have us some grandkids. She is chaste, but she has increased fertility due to being beautiful. Okay. I still do plan to pay homage eventually. Uh, one of the things I should be doing is upgrading at least my home duchy here. Got it, so... Yeah, let's make some defensive buildings just in case. I think I'm going to focus on the land that I'm going to keep for a while. I'll probably end up giving these two away to my second son. <clears throat> We're still waiting for our university to be built. Another weapon here. Not what we need. Still waiting on this guy. He's in poor health, so we should have our opportunity eventually here. And professional workforce, and then we'll just stick around to get centralization before I head over into learning for a bit, most likely. Um, our court grandeur got up high enough to get our heir this really nice trait, extra stewardship. and some control growth. Uh, he's going to be in stewardship lifestyle, so having that extra experience is going to be really nice. Oh, how about that? 43 and 53, we've conceived a child. No guarantees that this pregnancy lasts, though, given that I'm quite old already. Uh, old to be having kids, anyway. We'll see how it goes, though. Uh, if I have a son who gets genius, then I'm going to have a tough decision to make. I'm going to work off stress, I think. I uh, might end up going on a pilgrimage, maybe to like Jerusalem or something like that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I forgot to put this on. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we can let her go. Uh, so we end up having a daughter with no trait. That's unfortunate. Uh, that gave us enough children to have plus five general opinion. So that's that's a nice benefit at least. second son has come of age now. I think I'm going to stop him from being a knight as well. I'd rather have children to pass this land on to than to just give it to random characters. Um, so we could find him a wife as well. He's got no trait himself. 
she is Sicilian. Sure. Uh, sometimes when you just give them land, they'll, for whatever reason, not get married for a while. Uh, let's do this. Perfect. Okay. So maybe we have our opportunity now to go and pay homage to him. Hire a mountaineer. Let's get a guy. Uh, we could visit this as well. It's martial experience, though. I don't think we care too much about that. Am I worried about this enough to also spend gold? I guess I'm pretty rich. Let's do it. Okay. So let's head up into Germany. Where is this capital, anyway? Klingenberg. Okay. My new paramour. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm 44. He's 19. He's handsome and he has lustful. Do I risk this? Oh, I kind of want to, but the thing is, given that we're a woman, um, adultery is criminal. So if, if we get caught and exposed, then we could end up getting our land revoked, which is just, I don't think, worth the risk. Tempting, though. Very tempting. Okay, a lot of events moving through the mountains there. Uh, I think I'll keep building stuff in my capital here. Let's get our farms and fields going. Uh, so no negative event here. That's what we were hoping for. That's why we learned his language. Uh, and there the doge has finally passed away. So hopefully they don't negotiate an alliance again. And we'll go to war with him and take Pisa eventually. Or finally, I should say. Um, my husband is allergic to mittens. I'm not giving mittens away, though. We need him to drop our stress a little bit, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we should just do that right now. Let's go for it. Should be a pretty straightforward war. Just walk our army in there and take it. Stage an elaborate execution. This costs us a lot of stress, though. It does give us some extra experience. Uh, we're almost there anyway. Okay, let's let's kill him. So neither of our sons have gotten their wives pregnant yet. We're hoping for some grandkids here. Okay, so there's Pisa. Uh, and we'll just give that away to someone. There's that. Uh, it's another duchy title whenever we want to make it eventually. Uh, but I think I'm going to use this gold to go on a pilgrimage. We kind of need to drop this stress. Let's get our four level up actually, just in case. Um, here is our next stewardship perk. I don't think I'm going to hang out in here any longer though. That's a nice little bit to get. Uh, we have a lot of experience here from visiting places. Eventually I think I'll come back here, but I think I'll spend some time in uh, learning lifestyle for a little bit. Um, grab pedagogy. Hopefully we'll have some grandkids to raise. We can maybe get them some extra skills. Scientific. Probably get know thyself. We'll see how it goes. Um, no reason to think this character is going to die anytime soon, hopefully. So we do have some time left. Uh, depending on how this goes, we might end up playing a grandkid instead of one of our sons. Uh, but we need a grandkid first in order for that to happen. Uh, but I'm going to continue this on in the next part. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.